When we set up that product, remember we chose the only um, list that was available under Rain Mail. Right. We got to change that. Well, no, I just changed it because right. when we created the autoresponder sequence, it it was added as an additional list. So what happens is they don't get put onto any other list when they buy that product. They go straight onto that autoresponder sequence. And you can send, you could broadcast based off of it or whatever, but the idea is that it's it's starting a timer. They just bought this product and mm -hmm. allowing you to control, you know, the the pre-formatted, so to speak, um, emails right. that they're gonna get. And we're starting with a very basic, hey, tap, 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 the new module's open, but you know, the world is truly your oyster as far as if you want to interject some more kind of automation aspect as far as you know, hey, are you using this? Here's what you should have done today, or here's what you should have done this week, or you know, whatever. Just mm -hmm. so that in that way, it'll you know that every time they sign up, they're on the clock. I think that having that, you know, being able to kind of set that sequence up and let it kind of evolve over time, it's an onboarding. I mean, it really that's what we're. So that was the other thing is the first email is set up as a receipt right now. What I would highly recommend is that when you set up, when you go back and change that email, leave it as a receipt, like a line right. or two right. receipt, but then make it, basically what you wanna do is make it two lines. One is here's your receipt, so to speak. Line two is here is a specific question that I am asking you that I want you to reply with an answer. But does that make right. sense? As far as you just want them to reply, you, whatever the question is. You know, okay, so so the first line is, here's your receipt. The second line was? Whatever question you want to ask them, that will get them to reply. All you want is one question. Just like with mine, it would be, okay. you know, what, what about video content marketing scares you? Right, anything for engagement. Exactly. exactly. Well, that, that, that makes sense. Good, good, good. Here's one. Here's what I think you should do. At some point in the in the autoresponder sequence, send them an email that is an entirely different, a second product, a free product. But right, it's right. one. All that they're using the product for is to add access. And what you're doing is saying, hey, if you want to get onto my weekly list or whatever, bingo. Yep. If you weren't going to use the autoresponder long term, if you were just delivering it over 30 days, let's say, right, then right. at the end of the 30 days, you would have marketing automation move them back to the normal list. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you don't want that to happen because you want to be able to schedule them, you know, six months and so forth out from when that actual purchase came from, right? So you want to give them the option to add themselves to your list. So that's what one of the emails would be is just a quick pitch. Here's why you would want to and oh, and if you want to, here's where you do it. Just click this button and they're used to logging in. So when they log in, it's going to pre-populate all the info and all they'll really have to do is click a button, you know, and then it'll take them to the success page. And then from there, now they're on to the regular list, but they're still on that autoresponder sequence.